This is Hudson County TV, coming to you from Western York, as public school number three has now been renamed Robert Menendez Elementary School. The U.S. Senator, with strong roots in Hudson County, next door in Union City, came to Western York today among all the local officials and was very gracious in having the school named after him as a result of the hard work put forth by Western York Mayor Felix Roque. And today it's good to be home here uh, in New Jersey, in Hudson County, where it all started for me. And it's truly an honor to be here at the dedication of the Robert Menendez Elementary School in West New York, New Jersey. Uh, I can think of no better tribute uh, than having an elementary school named in my honor, because just as all of your lives uh, here at the school, this is where it all began for me. Uh, and I know my mother, if she's alive, would be very proud. So. Thank you very, very much. Let me thank uh, Mayor Rocket uh, for his great presentation. Let me thank members of the Board of Education for passing the resolution and making it possible. And being a school board member is something that I appreciate. It is a labor of love. It's where I began my public life. So I salute all of you on the school board. After the event, Senator Menendez took a few questions from the press and addressed a multitude of issues in the process. You know, uh, I can't think of a better honor, and I've received many, uh, than to have a, uh, a school named after you because it's really about the future. It's really about uh, the hopes and dreams and aspirations of young people who are not only going to realize their dreams but help America realize its potential. And so uh, I'm thrilled uh, to uh, have this honor. I had a conversation with the kids before we started the program. They're fantastic. They're bright. Uh, they're, you know, desire as you could see their their mind uh, had a whole host of questions so um, I look forward to coming back to the school often and uh, helping mentor it. Senator on a political perspective I know you've been one of the biggest advocates for the Affordable Care Act it's still getting some negative connotations in the media um, what can you tell all the naysayers right now in terms of how Obamacare is progressing? Well look you know the reality is this is the equivalent of having a great product in a department store but not being able to get through the front door to buy it. So hopefully all of the website changes that have been done are going to unlock what I think is a great product in terms of affordable health care for families who didn't have it and for other families who can get better health care than what they had at very reasonable prices. Many families who will get it with subsidies. And I look at New Jersey alone, you know, we have over 70,000 uh, young people being able to stay on their parents' insurance that they couldn't do before the law. Uh, we have a million and a half women in New Jersey who now get expanded quality uh, women's health care services that they didn't have. Uh, we look at seniors who have saved uh, in New Jersey alone over $400 million in prescription drug costs. Uh, we look at uh, over 3 million New Jerseyans who will no longer face a lifetime cap, meaning that they had a ceiling on their insurance and if they got ill, God forbid, with a serious illness, uh, they would be stopped from being able to get any reimbursement from insurance because of that lifetime cap, that's gone. So these are all elements of the law uh, that are already in effect that people are enjoying and I believe that when people get access to the program, as I did, I signed up uh, uh, about a week ago uh, for uh, the President's health care program under uh, you know the Affordable Care Act, went online and ultimately uh, was able to do it and uh, I believe people are going to look at that at the end result. And the final thing I'd say, you know, I I went through history uh, when we had a hearing recently and I said, you know, when Social Security rolled out, it was severely criticized for the shortfalls that it had. When Medicare uh, rolled out, it was called a disaster. Today those two programs are some of the most beloved social safety net programs uh, uh, the nation has ever known. So I think given time, this is going to be viewed in the same way. Thank you so much for watching. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com. Don't forget to follow Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For everyone here at Hudson County TV, I'm Fernando Uribe. You stay classy, everyone.